today. Yes, it is. That the Lord has made. We say rejoice. Rejoice. Turn up and be glad in it. Yes, sir. Motivation Monday in May. Today. Get in that chat right now. Rep your city right now. Rep your city. Rep, rep your city. Hey. Rep your city. Hey. Rep, rep your city. Hey. Mayday, mayday, mayday. Damn. Motivation. Yes, sir. Motivation Monday, baby. We in here. Back up in the building for all God's children. I am the love and life coach, Dale Lawrence. And that man right there is the people's bishop. Yes, sir. Bishop Kevin Foreman. Yes, sir. Hey, May Day is May 1st. Yes, sir. <clears throat> and listen, the word that I got in my spirit to motivate everybody for the whole month of May is enlarge. I love it. God is about to do something great, big, large. Oh, it's about to be crazy. Jabez prayed this prayer, Bishop. Mm -hmm. That's what he prayed. What he prayed? He said, Oh, that thou will bless me indeed mm. and enlarge my territory. Mm. Wow. That is my prayer for not only me, not only you, but for everybody watching our podcast right now. Everybody. May is the month that God greatly enlarges you. What say you, sir? Well, you know what? <clears throat> That's the same thing. Uh, before we started uh, preparing for this, you said what it what it what was in my spirit. I said, I, you tell me what's in yours. I said, <laughs> I I want to see if there's synchronicity. I want to see if there's a sync. You said enlarged, and all this month it was about great. Uh, it's about great. G R eight. Um, great, you know how people do in the text. Great, G R eight. In other words, it's a shorter way to get to the same point. It's a shorter way to get to the same end. Um, and so, what I love about Jabez, Jabez's name literally means pain. So think about the audacity to pray a prayer. Oh Lord, that you would bless me that you would be with me and that you would enlarge my territory so that I would not cause pain. In other words, he's saying, I know what life has been for me up to this point, but I'm making a decision that from this prayer forward, it's going to be different for me. That's it. That's it. It was his choice. You know what? The Bible is not a book about destiny. It's a book about choices. It's choices. A lot of times we think God do this, God do this. And, and I know a lot of times people, preachers will preach destiny, destiny. You know why I hate that type of preaching and, and the use of that word is because it implies that God will do for you what you have to do for yourself. Mm. It makes God responsible for the part we're supposed to play. So wow. he's got his part, which is to do what I can't do. But then I got my part, which is to do what I can do. And Jabez said, I'm not waiting on you to change my name. I'm making a decision based on this prayer that my life is going to be different from this moment forward. It's my decision. It's my decision. You can't decide for me, God, because you gave me free will. You gave me free choice. You can't decide for me. I have to decide for myself. And then my prayer is, now do for me what I can't do. You enlarge my territory. I can't do that. You be with me. I can't do that. And you greatly bless me. You're the blesser. I can't do that. You have to do those things. But I can make the decision. And for some of you, all you need to do on five, one, two, three is decide. Decide. That's it. We, we don't even got three points. Decide. The one point to motivate you for your first week of May is to decide let me tell you something man the power of a decision yes i'm telling you it, it, it's something else man when when you the bible says when that when i decide a thing mm -hmm. man come on 
it, it, it's just the ability to be able to take all the pain you've been through, all the drama you've been yes. through. Some yes. of you have been saying, listen, it's the year of Jubilee. Well, it ain't been for me. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I, I mean, even when I think about first mm. day of the year, boo dies. Mm. Third month of the, uh, uh, of the year, my sister goes into the hospital. Mm. So much pain from, and this is supposed to be the year of Jubilee. Mm. But I heard God say, and last night I was in Spring Hill. Amazing. Stop the show. Stop the show off the chain last night. Amazing. And and the word that he gave us before we left was God is about to bless immediately. Immediately. That's great. See, that's the great part. It's the show. See, great G-R-E-A-T. And all this month for us, the focus is on how to be great. G-R-8. G-R-8. It's a shorter way to the same place. And when you say immediately, um, suddenly, things like that, we are in the spring biblical feast, two times a year where God opens the heavens. You know, again, if you go up in church you, and we're under open heaven, under open heaven, and people just be talking, and I know they mean well, but there's only two times a year where God opens the heavens. What does that mean? It is as if there is nothing blocking there's no interference. Um, there's no, there's, the only warfare will be with you. It's not going to be with you and him. Mm. The only, the only issue, uh, the issues are removed twice a year during the fall feast, during the spring feast. All this month of May, we are in the, the second half of the spring feast. Last one is the feast of uh, 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 Pesach, excuse me, uh, Shavuot which is known as the Feast of Pentecost, Day of Pentecost. That's on May 28th. All this month, we are in the season of the Spring Feast, which means, God says, literally, all the Spring Feasts represent sudden, fast, forward movement. So when you talk about immediately, when you talk about great, when you talk about enlarged, all of those words are really fitting for the time that we're in. We're in that time. And it's only twice a year. Only two times a year. It's kind of like when McDonald's used to, when I used to eat fast food, McDonald's used to do the uh, specials and you get, you have to get this sandwich only twice, you know, a couple times a year. Like, this is where you're at. If you don't get it this month, oh, baby, you're going to have to wait until September. And, and, and look, at how long, Bishop, does the window open? Well, from a biblical standpoint, this entire month, that window is open. Spring feasts span over two months. Fall feasts span over typically about a month. Um, and that's how long that window is open. Now, let's be clear. That doesn't mean that God is not going to bless and provide and do all those things the rest of the year. It just means during this time, like when we pray, praise and worship, that gives us an audience with God. During the feast, God says, I want an audience with you. This is why for many of you, you're like Jabez. God has been confronting you with you. He's been confronting you with yourself. He's been confronting you with impossible circumstances and situations to show you how you respond to the impossible. He has been making you deal with things that you did not want to deal with. He's been making you deal with uncomfortable things. Why? All of this is about making sure that you are able to experience that enlargement, that immediate blessing, that 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 sudden fast forward movement. Um, because here's the real question. What what pushed Jabez to pray that prayer? Is he had enough pain? I want to ask the question. Have you had enough? Is, is it, has it frustrated you enough? Man, come on. Are you, fed you up? Enough? Are you fed up enough? Are you fed up enough? Because most of us won't take moves and won't move until we're made to. Come on. So come what on. if everything that has not changed up to this point was to make you pray one simple prayer? Oh, Lord, that you would bless me. That are you, you sick and tired me. of being sick and tired? Of being sick and tired. Oh, Lord, that you would enlarge my territory. What pushed them to that point? He had enough pain. And listen, to anybody out there who's had enough pain, this is your moment to decide. The entire month of May, the, the window is open. Yeah. The, wi op the window is open. Heaven is open and he yes. is ready to enlarge you. I'm going to end it. I'm going to end it with these three, three strokes of the word decide. Decide means to agree. Mm. Ooh, 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 ooh. 
That's good. A grab, uh, look, this, this, decide means to choose. Mm. And decide means, are you ready for this one though? To decree. Wow. Give, give me hints for each word. Number one, agree. Who are you agreeing with? God or your circumstances? <laughs> That's simple. That's simple. That's why he said make a decision. Agree with me. Malcolm X said it like this. I don't know if he said it in real life, but I know he said it in the movie. If you get on God's side, God will be on your side. Come on. Uh, it's just a simple. So so that that I don't want to go any deeper with that. That is that. Super simple. Agree. Who and what are you going to agree with? Choose. Choose. I set before you this day life and death. Choose. You can you can stay frustrated or you can let that frustration be your motivation. You can take the Jabez route or you can take the Judas route. You can take the Jabez route or you can take the Jonah route. You can take the Jabez route, watch me, or you can punk out. But either Ooh. way, you need to make a choice. Watch me. And choosing to do nothing is a choice. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. I, mean, I ain't going to do nothing. And God says, yeah, you made your choice. You know what that reminds me of? Is Ghostbusters. Remember Ghostbusters number one? Yeah, and, and, man. And, on, and, the, on. and they were up on that on that building. And was it Gozar or Gomer, whatever name was. Uh, and uh, the, the thing said, you know, choose, choose your adversary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. choose how you're going to be destroyed. Choose. Yeah. And, and, and then one of them said, don't think about that. Don't think about that. And one of them said, the only thing I could think of was this. Your default will become your choice if you don't make a choice. Ooh, that's so good. That's so good. And the last one, decree. Decree. I, Job 22, 28. And you shall decide and decree a thing and it shall be established for you. Once I decide it, I got to speak it. So I have to make this decision. I have to say this to myself. And this will be a month of enlargement. And this will be a month I'm blessed. And this will be, this was going to be an amazing day. And this is going to be a productive day. I, the woman with the issue of blood, you know what the Bible says? She heard that other people were getting healed. And she said to herself. That's it. That's it. Means, I have to keep saying it. And sometimes it's not even to the atmosphere. It's to myself. I just got to keep telling me this is what it's going to be. Yeah, because some, sometimes you got to be convinced. Correct. Because, listen, you gotta that's, convince the, that's yourself. the biggest place. That's the biggest place. Listen, that was hard. That was amazing. Listen, y'all. Y'all better, better light that chat up, man. We giving you yeah. the business. This is how we going to motivate your inmate. This is your month to be great. This is your month to enlarge. This is the month heaven opens its window. Bishop, let's pray for the people. God, we have one simple prayer, what Jabez said. Oh, that you would bless us. Be with us and enlarge our territory. Do it in a great, immediate, fast way. In Jesus' name, that is all we need to say. Amen. Amen and amen. Oh, y'all, listen. If you receive that word, you know you got to sow into it. Yeah. You got to yeah. sow into it. Bishop, what, what's up, baby? What we feeling? What we feeling? What we sowing tonight? You know what? We are in the we are in the fifth month. Uh, you're talking about blessing. You're talking about Jabez. You're talking about the prayer of Jabez and the prayer that Jabez prayed. You you know what I think is so significant is one. And here's what I heard. I heard the Lord say, "Don't expect anything you haven't sown into." Sometimes you're expecting a harvest and you've not sown into it. That's like me going to the restaurant. I ain't sold nothing. Come on. How do I sow into the restaurant? It's called an order. I haven't sold anything. And I just go in there and sit and just ain't nobody came to bring me my food. I'm expecting something that has never been ordered because I never put the seed in the ground in order to get the harvest it's called my order. And so literally that scripture where Jabez prays that is first first chronicles four and ten. Here's the seed, 41. $41 for First Chronicles 4 and 1. That's the seed I want to challenge everybody to sow and do it now. Don't think about it. Don't second guess it. Listen to me. What you want is way more than $41. So if you trip it over $41, how are you asking God for thousands and tens of thousands and hundreds of thousands and millions? Show God he can trust you at this level and he will trust you at every level. 41 is that seed, but but in that, here's what you're gonna name the seed. You use the word enlarge. You're gonna use the word enlarge, and that's what you're gonna name this seed. The methods to give it 
are coming up and uh, he'll tell you here and again in a second. Um, but I heard the Lord loud and clear. He said, don't tell them, don't expect to hear, to see any of what was just said if they don't sow into it. And for many of you, the seed, the financial seed is one component. Of, no, not for many, for all of us. The financial seed is one component, but the other side of the seed is this. It is you making the decision. Uh, but let me say this real quick then before we go. Um, so I am anointed um, for finance and for resources and money and business. That's one of my areas of anointing, grace, favor. Um, and I tell people that whenever they sow, I said, you better be prepared because something is going to open up for you. I said, I know my assignment. Um, yesterday, I was reading a praise report for one of the guys who serves me as an adjutant. As a bishop, we don't have our version of adjutants. Same general function, just slightly different. And uh, he, he sowed um, this year his largest one-time seed ever. And I began prophesying um, the end of last year, the beginning of this year, that when people sowed, it was going to be so significant, they couldn't just do a credit card or check. They were going to have to wire it in. He had to wire this seed in. He wired in this seed. He paid his tithes, offerings, and then he sowed a substantial, substantial amount into me. Um, when he did that, um, of course, I blessed the seed and what have you. Uh, he said, Bishop, what I sowed, listen to this, was more than everything I made last year. I'm going to back it up and say it again. He said, what I sowed was more than everything I made last year. One seed became, because he was faithful at the level he was at last year, and he was faithful at that level. So God said, now let me up your level and see what I can do for you. Yesterday, I was in my office and getting ready for church. He said, sir, I got another praise report. I said, well, you should expect them to keep coming because I, I told you, you should expect them to keep coming. He says, so I bought this car just because I wanted something to drive in. He said, total investment into the car, $1,000, including fixing it. Got it from an auction. He said, make a long story short. He said, yesterday, I got a check for that car for $8,000. In other words, I made $7,000 off a car I've been using for two years. Uh, he said, because... Um, of my sowing. I'm saying to everybody on here, your sowing is going to open this thing up for you. Your decision and then the sowing of your finance. Uh, so get the seed in the ground. What do you have I, to lose? My seed is in the ground. Bishop. Let's go. My Let's seed go. is in the ground. You get your seed in the ground. There it is, baby. Four, one, bam. That's it. From First Chronicles 4 and 10. Listen, Motivation Monday, May Bishop Kevin Foreman, Dale Lawrence, Love and Life Coach, Soul Times Movement. Listen, if you have not yet subscribed, I need you to hit that subscribe button right now. Hit that yeah. subscribe button and listen. Get ready. Yes. Heaven is open. It's open. Your entire month has been set off by this day. That wasn't yes. number God, baby. That Motivation Monday was on the first day of the open heaven seat. Isn't that crazy? Only God could do that. That's God. Only God can do it. Only God can do it. Only God can do it. Hey! <laughs> Listen, man, we love y'all. We'll see you next week. Same bad time, same bad channel. It's Motivation Monday. God bless y'all.